Hello, Miss Alexandra. Good evening. In six minutes, we are going to get started. Okay, thank you. Are you still on the road? Are you still in your transportation? Aún va en el transporte, Alexandra. Holly. Okay, thank you. Gracias por ser muy responsable. Uh, en seis minutos iniciamos. Gracias, Ale.
fun. In a couple of seconds, we are going to get started, okay? So, hello, Ruth. How are you? Hola, Ruth. ¿Cómo está? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Very well. Great. Nice to listen to you and have you here. You know, Alexandra is in the transportation, so that's why her camera is off. Hello, Noé. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Are you okay? Everything fine at work? Yes? Working very hard, right? Trabajando muy fuerte. Hello, Jose Mauricio. Hey, you are at home. That's good. Excellent. So no, no traffic jam. No hubo mucho tráfico. No, no mucho. Home. Okay. After this heavy rain that we have, electric storm, that's great that you are home. Kelly, hello. Good evening, Mario. Good evening. Welcome. It's exactly the time to get started class. So here we go. Uh, it is so nice to have you here in class. Okay, today we are going to start a new unit. And we are beginning the other 50% of your course. Estamos iniciando el otro 50% de su curso, de su nivel. Okay, so it means that you are in your way to reach module two. Están ya en su camino para acercarse al módulo dos. Okay, congratulations, then uh, you are very responsible, you are very constant, and I am so proud of you, class. Estoy muy feliz y orgullosa de ustedes por sus resultados en el midterm homeworks uh, unit one and homeworks unit two, okay? Excellent. And some of you have already begun, y algunos de ustedes ya iniciaron con uh, homework week three, okay? Excellent, very well. That shows that you are very, very responsible. And let me see in the chat. Okay, Alexandra is in her way home. Uh, Kelly, is your microphone okay? Kelly, el micrófono está bien. Hola, Miss. Ah, okay, muy bien, perfecto. Solo que uh -huh. no puedo hablar mucho. Hoy me diagnosticaron COVID y oh. sí me está costando hablar. Mm. Me so you are disability. Está incapacitada. Eh, pero, sí. <laughs> pero no, no muy fuerte los síntomas. Pues solamente un poquito más en la garganta porque me duele cuando hablo y se me enronquece la voz. Pero mm. de ahí todo normal. Ok, no va a ir a trabajar. No, mis. Sí, ok. De mi casa. <laughs> Okay, but you have the, the vaccination doses, si tiene las vacunas. Fíjese que eh, como estoy eh, dando de lactar, tengo una bebé de 14 meses. Ajá. No me habían permitido ponerme las vacunas porque le, estaba, le estoy dando todavía lactancia. Entonces ahorita sí se la voy a cancelar y posterior, Ajá. después que me pase, sí me voy a aplicar ya comenzar con la dosis. Sí, es un poco raro porque sí recomiendan que a pesar que estén uh, amamantando bebés, sí se la pongan porque no hay, no hay mayor. Pero bueno, su médico sabrá, ¿verdad? Bueno, a mantener la cuarentena con la niña, el distanciamiento sí. físico, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, su bebé. Ok, y bueno, a seguirnos cuidando, gente. ¿verdad? Porque Así es. Esto está tremendo. Ok, now let's get started. Okay, Miss, we understand that you are sick and we appreciate that you are here in class. Y apreciamos que esté acá en clase, okay? So, let's begin while the others join. Mientras los otros se unen, que algunos aún están en, en su camino, ¿verdad? But we are going to get started because we always need time. Yes, siempre necesitamos tiempo. Después de las 10 terminamos la clase. Okay, and when I say, hey, it's time to say goodbye, and you stare at me like, what? ¿Verdad? Me dicen, ¿cómo? Si no terminamos la actividad. Pero como ahora le toca a Noé quedarse con, con la teacher. Yes, I look at her face. Yeah, it, because it is a new topic. So all the questions that you have about the new topic, you may ask me. Todas las, las preguntas que tengas sobre el nuevo tema, me las puede hacer, okay? 
So let's begin. And here we go. Okay, the topic for this uh, new unit, this new uh, beginning is information questions and answers. If you remember, we have been working with yes, no questions, but we're going to start with information questions. And I'm going to present my full screen. Okay, information questions and answer is the topic for today. <clears throat> so today we have our video conference number 11. We begin unit three. So in our agenda for today, in our meeting, we have greetings, feedback, the objectives, uh, WH information questions. Maybe you remember that topic, WH, last palabras que inician con WH, where, who, what, when, okay? Uh, asking questions about someone else's duties at the workplace, and we're going to be working at pages 29 and 30 in our manual and the closing of the class. So the objectives here, we have the specific objective and the uh, class objective. So I need a volunteer in order to help me reading as every day that we have this meeting. One volunteer to read the objectives, only one, okay? Un voluntario, voluntaria to read the objectives specific and the class objective, you have to practice. Okay, if you don't volunteer, I'm going to choose the volunteer. Como no hay voluntariado, voy a seleccionar el voluntario o la voluntaria. Okay, so let me see, maybe <clears throat> my victim is going to be oh, Rose, okay. Esperemos que, que pronto se conecte su Wi-Fi, Rose, okay. Thank you for being here. Let's see. Um, I was about to. Well, my victim is going to be tonight for reading the. Uh, Julie says uh, joining. Okay, here. The mouse is going to tell me the lucky reader for the objectives today, tonight is Mario. Mario, you are the lucky boy. El dichoso afortunado. Ay, and everybody, oh, what a relief. Que alivio, el resto. Okay, Mario, please help us. Reading the specific objective and the class objective, okay? <clears throat> okay, Miss. A specific object. Participants will be able to ask questions about someone else that is in the workplace. Uh, class objective. Participants will be able to ask information questions and give up answers. Excellent. Out. Answers, okay. Give out, give out to provide, to say, to give answers, okay. Um, here, so it is very important. Someone else's duties at workplace. You know why it is so important? Because by now you almost know the duties or obligations. Duties is a synonym for obligations or activities that you and your classmates do at work, okay? So that is duty. When it is on duty, it means I am working, okay? And here, again, a reminder for the homeworks and evaluations. Remember in this week, you're not going to have a midterm no, only the homeworks, okay? So here we're going to get started with the brainstorming. And yesterday, what did we practice yesterday? Do you remember someone who remembers something? Alguien que recuerde algo de lo que trabajamos ayer? What did we practice yesterday in class? Okay, dictate to me, please, tell me. Um, when you use do and does. Cuando se ocupa do y cuando se ocupa okay. does. Okay, questions in simple present. Questions in simple present. Um, 
the alphabet. Do. Das. Yes. Okay. Oh, the alphabet. A, B, C. Uh, daily routines. Mm. What else? Mm -hmm. The day of the semana. How do you oh, say? Oh, excellent! Days of the week. Days That's of so the week. Excellent. And you were spelling and dictating also. Yes, the days of the week. You remember? So <clears throat> we agreed that the days of the week are Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, that's the pronunciation, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday for the weekend, Saturday, and Sunday, yeah, and Sunday. So um, I'm going to ask <clears throat> uh, Jose Mauricio, how do you spell Wednesday in English? Wednesday in English, how do you spell it? Hello? Hola. Uh, Wednesday in no, English. Ah. How do you spell it? W? W. w. E D N E S e, D I Y I A A perdón <laughs> Okay very well Now how Ruth how do you spell Thursday in English Thursday in English U R S B A Y. Excellent. Y. You see, you said Y. Excellent. So you improve the pronunciation for Y because yesterday, if you remember, you have a little problem. Okay, great. And in order to continue with our feedback, hello, Eric Fernando. Ah, Griselda. Welcome, Griselda. You are here in my mind, Griselda, Griselda, Griselda is in my class for the attendance list, okay? When I take the, when I call your name, I think that I say your name, but you are a little bit distracted. Yo creo que sí la menciono, pero Griselda, ay, no, estaba pensando en otra cosa, okay? In the ABC, in the alphabet. Okay, if you remember yesterday, we were working with this, but I promise, guys, that we were going to continue because you work this two um, areas, right? My daily routine and my partner's daily routine, yes or no? But I don't know if you finished the questions, okay? For example, if I say here as an example, Okay, this is the question. What would you say, class? Does Mario check social networks at work? The answer is affirmative or negative. Yes, no question. Do you remember, class? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't? Yes, he does. Okay, great. Yes, we say does. yes, he does. Okay, do you remember that this was the last part that you were working with? Okay, now I need you to tell me, okay? I need you to tell me one, uh, one question about, okay, here. Do is plural, okay, or do you, okay? So the question is, do, let's imagine, okay, let's build it in plural. Do you have any of the questions for do? The ones that you worked with yesterday? Yes or no? Okay, let's see. For instance, if we say do Rosa 
and um, Julissa check emails at work. What do you think? Yes or no? Is it affirmative or negative the answer? Hello, yes. class. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So, but it is plural. Rosa yes. and Julissa. So the answer yes, should do. be excellent. Yes. Perfect. Very well. Yes, they do. Okay. Yes, they do. And then you have to create another one in plural. Do and does. Okay. And you have to write here the answer. Did you finish this? Or oh, no, you didn't have time. No, you didn't. Okay, we're going to take it as part of the feedback, okay? But I gave you two examples. Now you continue with the others. And actually you have to write four. So we're going to take some time, okay? In order to work and reinforce that content. Here we go. But you're going to work in groups, okay? Remember the activities your classmates do at work. Uh, let's verify. Okay, great. Here we go. I need you to move to your breakout rooms as soon as possible, okay? Go to your groups, please. Go to your groups and write the sentences as a team, as a group. Okay, not individual, as a group. Okay, go. I need Noe in group number one. I need Alexandra. If you if you are able, Alexandra, to join group number three, please. Eso creo que vos, de, eh, teacher. Yes, hello. Este es lo que, lo que la página que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, it is okay. a feedback. Pero lo que sucede es que no todos lo terminaron. Entonces, por eso estamos haciendo la retroalimentación. ¿Ok? Ah, ok, está bien, teacher. Uh -huh. Vaya. Ah, pues espérame, lo voy a, lo voy a abrir. <coughs> Es la, 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 ok, ya. Uh, perdón. Es la, eh, oh. la 28, es eh, verdad, sí. La yes. 28. Me va esta cosa. Vaya. De eso. Vaya. Entonces, si quieres, eh, decime. ¿Cómo es? O sea, él me las tiene que decir, ¿verdad, teacher? O yo a él, como sea. Bueno, acá no. eh, cada quien va a escribir la suya. Es decir, mm. if this is your, your, your manual here, you're supposed to have your activities. And uh, here you write um, Mauricio's okay, routine, activities that he does at work. And the other way around. Y en este espacio, Mauricio va a tener sus actividades de él y él va a escribir acá las de su compañera, que en este caso es Julissa. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Ok. Vaya. 
ya tenés tus actividades. Así sería. Vaya, la voy a poner yo aquí. Las puedo poner como he, ¿verdad, teacher? He? No, uh, uh, ¿O cómo? no ma, uh, Mauricio, so you remember who does the activities. No, no le entendí, teacher. Escriba el nombre de su compañero para que sepa a quién se refiere, porque si escribe aquí, el día de mañana va a decir, he, pero ¿y quién es he? ¿Con quién trabajé? Sí. Ah, okay, ok, ok. Y él va a escribir Julisa y recuerden escribir en tercera persona los verbos, ¿verdad? Ok, yeah, teacher. Okay. Vaya, este, si querés decirme los, el, los, tus actividades, uh -huh. y yo la voy a escribir y después yo te voy a decir las, okay, las que yo tengo. Idea. Excellent, that's the idea, that's the spirit. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Ah, hello, Alexandra. Hola, Here noches. you are. Great. Hola, Alexandra. Ok, there she is. She's part of your group, ok? Ok. Vaya okay. bien. Ya, Mauricio. Sí. Vamos a poner a Noé primero. Vale, Noé. Saturday is with capital letter, remember. Uh, la S es mayúscula. Thank you, Miss. Mario. Check email. email. Yeah, check emails. Do Noé and Mario check emails? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, yes, they do. Check emails. The answer is affirmative, okay? Yes, yes they do. Mama, they do. Very well. That's, that's root. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, porque escribieron una de Eric. No, no puede. Ruth tiene que ser. Recuerden ayer el video de Insa Ford. Recuerden el video de Insa Ford de ayer. Inclusión sí. sí. Ok. Por eso, por eso <laughs> le digo, that's right. Está escribiendo. Sí, me trato de. Ah, ok. She's writing. Estoy trabajando. Les escucho algo cortado. Sí, así no también. Sé. Igual. Sí, igual. Bueno, entonces, de un singular. Ah, cabal de una persona. Podría, le podría hacer yo a usted la pregunta. Eh, do you, do you. Uh, do you check email? Mm -hmm. Sería como Rosa, do you check emails? No, solo sería sí. el... Eh, ah, podría ser. Porque si no, ¿a quién le estamos preguntando? Dice los nombres de las personas, ¿verdad? Como es plural. Do, bla, bla, en bla, bla. Okay, me el, de las personas. Tú es para dos o tres personas. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, Pero se puede usar también para uno. No. Only do you. Do you. Solo para uh -huh. tú. Do you no, check no, emails. Bien. Ajá. Pero ¿quién es do you? Uh -huh. Griselda. Griselda, do you uh -huh. check emails? Yes, I do. Entonces, Griselda o Rosa. Griselda. Mm. 
Y yo respondí, yes, I do. Ok, entonces la respuesta sería, yes, she does. Sí. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Griselda, do you check emails? No, 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 no. Ahí tienen que escribir antes el nombre. Antes de tú. Griselda, Ajá, sí. Griselda, coma. Do you check emails? Y la respuesta sería yes, I do. Porque Ajá, ahí eso. usted está haciendo una pregunta directa. Entonces la respuesta ah, es directa. Okay. Yes, I do. Ok. Ahora nos falta la cuatro entonces. Que es un dat. Pero en este entonces también podríamos hacerlo así por ejemplo. Eh, dat scaling. Eh, aquí nos falta rosa. Dat rosa. Podríamos ponerle como caminas a tu trabajo. Oiga, cuando usa, cuando usa das es que está hablando de otra persona, no le está preguntando a esa persona. Entonces, das Rosa walk to her work. Das Rosa work. To walk to her work. Entonces nosotros mismos respondimos, respondemos yes, she does o no. No, she doesn't. Uh -huh. Sí, porque es que usted le pregunta a otra persona sobre alguien más. Por eso ah. es un one else, es rutina, la rutina de alguien más. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Uh -huh. Pregunta de él o de ella, sobre él o sobre ella, sobre la rutina de él o de ella, ¿okay? no de la tuya directamente. Sí. ¿Eh? Ok. Ok, great. Yes, she does. Oh. <coughs> podemos repasar. The truth right to work. No, she doesn't. Okay. Because this group is with many people. Okay. So here you are. Uh, let's see. Eric, do you drive to work? Eric, Eric, Janes, do you drive yes. to work? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Um, <laughs> Eric Merlos, the question goes to you. Eric Merlos, do you write reports? Do yes, you I write? Do. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Mario, do you do you answer emails? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay. Noe, do you talk to customers? No, I don't. Okay, Ruth, do you work uh, Saturday morning? Uh, you work yes. Saturday morning? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very well. Let me see who else is here with you. Yes, I don't see. Okay, I asked all of you. So now we're going to get back to the main session room, okay? Here we go. Let's see? Thank you for your participation.
Okay, Eric, but you, Eric uh, Vasquez, but you are here. Let's wait for the others so I can take the first attendance for today. Remember that everything that we are working is related to the new topic, okay? So keep in mind your routine at work and your partner's routines at work because they are going to be very useful for you to practice. Let's see. So everybody's here. Okay, I'm going to call the roster. Abel. 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 It's not here, Abel. First time. Okay, Alexandra Michel. Present, Miss. Thank you. Mm. Eric, Eric Vasquez. Eric Enrique. Hi. I am <laughs> taking the attendance, okay? Eric Fernando. Eric Fernando. Present, present, present. And Abel is just at the moment, okay? And Ismael is absent. Every time he trains, you know, he gets in troubles. Griselda. Present. So you see, I always call your name. Uh-huh, later you, okay, here. Let's see, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, absent at the moment. Jose Mauricio. Present. Always very responsible. Julissa. Present. Thank you. Carla Daniela, she's having serious problems with the connectivity, says today. Carla y Daniela is absent. Mm. Okay. Carla Elizabeth also is absent. Kelly. Kelly. Present. Thank Present, you. Miss. Thank you. Mario. Present. Noe. Present. Rosa. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Ruth, Ruth, absent. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Here we go. Okay, class, listen, we need to analyze this because some of you are still having a situation, okay? Let's remember that we use do for plural to build, to construct sentences, interrogative sentences in plural and you, do you. Okay, but here, do you, who is you? Okay, we may say, for example, do you, do you uh, clean the office? For example, it is a direct question, do you? But who is you? I may say, mm, probably, let's see, Rosa, do you clean the office? Yes, I do. So we say uh, that her answer is yes, I do. In this case, it is direct. That is why I recommend to write do with a plural. For example, if we say do, um, do Ruth and Rosa 
clean the office. Okay, Ruth and uh, Rosa, yes. And you, Ruth? No. Hmm? No, I don't. You don't clean your office? <laughs> no. Okay, so we say, mm, let's say yes, they do, <laughs> to tell you an example, okay? In the affirmative, we will say yes, they do, or in the negative, no, they don't, okay? You have the two possibilities. One, because Rose, yes, she does. And Ruth, no, she doesn't. So in plural, yes, they do, no, they don't. But when we say, yes, they do, no, they don't, we are talking about somebody else's, someone else's routine or duties at work. Acá estamos hablando de la rutina, preguntando sobre la rutina de alguien más, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. En este caso sería de dos personas más. And here, tell me one question that you wrote, people. Hello. Dictate for me one question that you built in the breakout rooms. Yo les escuché que estaban redactando varias. One volunteer to read one. Abel. Eh. Yes. Okay, who wants to? No, I'm saying Abel because of the attendance. <laughs> okay, Griselda, or who wants to read the sentence using does? One question. Kelly. Does? Does Kelly? Does Kelly? Walk, walk to the work. Walk to work. Uh-huh. And the answer is? Yes, she does. Yes. She does, okay? Wait, but we need to move it over here. And then we write here, yes, comma, she does, yes? Okay, and then you have the questions and the answers. Okay, very well. Teacher. Yes, sir. En la número tres. Mm -hmm. eh, podría ser... Uh, for example, root and me or root and I? Both are acceptable. Usually, do Ruth and me, American. Do Ruth and I, British English. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even in the songs, sometimes you listen, you and I, but British singers. Okay. 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 Thank you. My pleasure. And now, here we go. Let's see. We continue with our presentation. That was part of the feedback, yeah? And here, what do you do? Okay, let's practice. What do you do? For example, you may say, mm, I check social networks, I sell products, I talk to customers, I prepare agenda. Now, this question, you know how to answer, yes or no? Sí or no? Esta es, what do you do? Mm, I check social networks. What do you do? Obviously at work, yeah? So it is a piece of cake for you. Notice that what is an information question. It is not yes, no question. No es pregunta de sí o no. No, esta es solicitando información. It is like if I say, where do you work? Donde trabajas? I work in, because you cannot say, Yes, I do or no, I don't, because it is information that I need from you to tell me, okay? So let's continue with this practice. Okay, um, if we say, for example, where do you belong to? That is the question. If you tell me, I work at, Okay, you tell me the name of the company, right? Okay, you you belong to the staff of that company, but actually, where do you belong to in that company? You may say, I work at the human resources department. I work at the sales department. I work at the maintenance department. I work at the communications department. 
I work at the accounting department. I work at credits department. I work at the production department. I work at the quality control department or financial department or purchasing department. Departamento de compras, yes? Purchasing department. So it is now for you to think you belong to an organization because you work in that company. You are part of that staff, but for real, where do you belong to in that company? Okay, to which department do you belong to, okay? So now it is the time for you to think about and you are going to ask this question, where do you belong to? And then you say, I work at or I belong to, you may say I belong to, maybe it's not so common, but you say I work at the, and then you mention the department, okay? So right now we're going to have this practice and you ask the question, where do you belong to? Okay, this question, where do you belong to? And you are going to answer depending on the department or area that you belong to, okay? Vamos a hacer esta pregunta en equipos, cada quien contesta con el área o departamento al que pertenece en la, en la compañía o en el grupo de trabajo al que pertenecen, ¿ok? Yes, where do you belong to? Ok. The question is, where do you belong to? Where do you belong to? Ok. Ready? Here we go. Oh. You are going to have only a couple of minutes. Because it is only one question and you just have to give only one answer. Let's see. No, 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 no. Let's. Okay. We're going to have only two big groups. Only one question and you say the answer. Where do you belong to? Okay. So go and get ready with your answer. Where do you belong to? Okay, go to your groups, go to your groups. Go to your groups and ask and answer the question. Eric, Janice, and Kelly, Johanna, I need you in your groups, okay? Actually, you belong to the same group. Pertenecen al mismo equipo, niños. Go, please. Move, move, move. Eric and Kelly, we need you in group number one, please. Finish. Wow, congratulations. You are amazing. Okay, <laughs> excellent students. Hooray, hooray for you. Okay. Begin <laughs> asking and answering the question. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, Mauricio. Pero. Ah, que chido. Yo no trabajo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Where do you belong to? Not about. Give information. Information. You are sharing information questions. Extra information. Alexandra los estaba. Tip interviewing. Ah. Okay. Alexandra nos estaba preguntando, teacher. Confessions. <laughs> Confession. Okay. okay. Now uh, ask the question, please. Okay. Where okay. do you belong to? ¿Quién comienza? Um, yo le pregunto a Mario. Okay. Ask where a Mario. Do you, where do you belong to? Mario? I work at communications department. De, repeat, please. I work at the communications department. Departments. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
si queréis irle preguntando a cada uno o no sé si uno por uno tenemos que ir preguntando. ¿Qué eh, departamento es now, now, Mario? Uh, someone else and that person <coughs> asked the other, okay, to continue. No, eh, where do you belong to? I work at the purchase department. Vaya, mira, el área se llama área de planificación y producción. Pero ahora te lo digo, área de planificación y producción. Planning and My production. partner, daily. Planning and production uh, area. I belong to the planning, planning and production area. Production. Tengo que decir, yo pertenezco. I, yeah, I yes. belong. Uh -huh. No, ah, I work. Okay. It can be both, both. I belong to or I work no. at the. Uh -huh. Ah, perdón. I belong okay. to the planning and um, production area. You may say area or department. Area or department. Yes, that's okay. Okay. Pertenezco a área de planificación y producción. Ahora pregúntale Creo que Eric tiene problemas con su inter. Bueno, sí, no digo. Yeah, he's having problems with the, with the connection. Ah, con el lado. Ahora tengo que. Tengo que preguntar. Yes, you have to ask a question. Vaya, uh, me escuchan. Sí, le escucho. Vaya. ¿A quién me vas a preguntar, Eric? Vaya, te voy a preguntar a... Bueno, a, no sé quién me... Está estoy le, yo. Rosa. Está Rosa. Ask the question to eh, Rosa. What? ¿Para quién va la pregunta? ¿Para quién va la pregunta? Eric, ¿para quién va la pregunta? ¿A qué área pertenece? ¿Para quién va la pregunta? ¿Quién va a contestar? Kelly, Rosa, Griselda. Yo pregunto a la Rosa. Bye. Ok. Rose. Your answer, Rose. Rosa. Kelly. No sabía, este... Ok. Uh, permito. Bye. Ay, me quedé sin internet, no sé si me escuchan. Sí, sí le escuchamos. Le escuchamos. Bye, este... What do you do work? What do you work? No, no es así, ¿verdad? La de work. Where do you? What? Where do you belong to? Where do you belong? Where belong do you belong to? to? Mm -hmm. I belong to the area of operation. Operations uh, area or department. Mm -hmm. Now, Kelly, mm -hmm. ask the question. Uh, Pre Griselda, <coughs> where do you belong? I work at the United Cult um, United Culture of Peace, Unidad de Cultura de Paz. <coughs> I belong to the cultural unit, a cultural peace unit, cultural peace unit, cultural peace unit, cultural, cultural <coughs> peace unit, Pass, peace. <coughs> Cultural Peace Unit, okay? Yes. And where do you work, Griselda? Eh, a Rosa. No, Griselda, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabaja Griselda? Where do you I... work? ¿Dónde trabaja? Ajá. Uh -huh. Arzobispado de San Salvador. 
Ah, to the Archbishop, mm -hmm. National Archbishop. That's why it is curious, right? Yeah, because of the area <coughs> that you mentioned. Okay, great, mm -hmm. excellent. Now your question goes to Rosa. <clears throat> Where do you belong to? I work at the operation department. Y no sé si nos hacía falta alguien. Mm, ya estamos completos. No, Ruth. Alto yo. Don't ignore her. Don't ignore her. Ruth. Estando en la blanca. Ok. Ruth. Bueno. Okay. Finish class. Yes. 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 Okay. Noel, yes. where do you belong? Where do you belong to? I work at the purchase department. Okay, purchase department. Great. Now this information is going to be very useful in the next activity. And here we go. Okay. Thank you so much. And now we're going to get back to the main session room. Okay, class, now that we are over with this activity, we move to the next one. You know that uh, this is uh, very important. For example, uh, check, write, and answer emails. I check and write. I check, write, and answer emails. I take and make calls and take messages, for example. Uh, I prepare the agenda and attend meetings. It is um, a better description of some of your activities or duties at work. I call clients and sell products, for example. Read, check, and write reports. I turn on the computer, work on the computer, and turn off the computer, just to tell you. This is the description of the activities according to your position is what you are going to work right now. And it goes like this, okay? In our manual, here. Uh, brainstorm about the different departments in your workplace, okay? Okay, where do you belong to? And what do you do? Um, you have different departments depending on the nature of the company that you work for. So right now you're going to listen to your teacher read the following departments in a company. Then you are going to match the departments to or with the activities they perform or they do at work. We have production, research and development, Purchasing, marketing, human resources, management, and accounting and finance, okay? So in groups, you are going to analyze these uh, departments and these activities in order to have the best matching. And don't get confused. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Recruit select and train new employees for the right job in the company. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflow and outflow. Control and supervise the production workforce inventory. Develop, design new or improve existing products or processes. Buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Okay, this is at page 29, and you are going to work in different groups. And later, you 
read, double read the departments and the activities that they perform in each area, okay, in each department. And you write here, okay, the number of the department from one to six. And later on, we're going to double check to make sure that we are in the correct, okay, answer. So right now here, Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms and begin working as a group, okay? As a team, go to your groups, go to your groups and begin working as a team and match the activities to the departments, okay? I need Abel and Enrique Vasquez in group number one. Your classmate is waiting for you. Enrique Vasquez, we need you in group number one. Okay. Okay, class, there you are. Here you are, Eric Enrique Vasquez, Abel, and Alexandra. Begin working and reading and analyzing the description of the activities, okay? Okay. Veamos, dice la primera. Research and identify. Ay, busca e identifica. Que clientes. New employees for the right of in the company. Yes. ¿Cómo se selecciona nuevo personal? Ajá, para la compañía. Nuevos empleados. Entonces sería human resource. Ajá, human resource management. Comprar material prima, equipo de producción, etcétera, para no. uso de... La uno con la respuesta seis. Con la seis, aquí. Sí, no sé, es la que más me parece. Buy and acquire raw materials. Compra y adquiere materia prima para la producción, para el equipo de, y equipo de producción. Eso es en la producción, hace eso. Mm, no. Uh -huh. Ok, think. Don't get confused, ok. Mm -hmm. Creo que así es la Porque producción. Proceso de producción, ajá. Uh -huh. ver. Investigación y desarrollo. Desarrollar de de design. Diseña. Desarrolla y diseña. Ah. Uh, Nuevo inventory. Creo que esa es. Es producción. La producción 
Work, 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 work. Ajá, porque vaya, la 3 habla de, de que la adquisición de, creo que sí, purchasing es la última, porque dice que con los materiales de la producción, el equipo, equipamiento y la organización. Creía yo que así es. La 3. Sí, no, sí o no tiene más sentido. Podría ser. Uh -huh. Vaya, la cinco sí sería la segunda. Los trabajadores. Ah, ya sí. Pero allí sería la cinco. La. Donde puso el dos. La cinco. Ajá, donde puso el dos arriba. Ay, es que estoy, ay, estoy toda, toda trabada. <risa> Aquí el 5, aquí es la 2. Marketing. Aprovechando, está empezando una tormenta eléctrica si me desconecto y por eso. Ajá. Y eso es. Pues? Ajá. Lo vamos a ir a buscar. No. No, de verdad. No, no, no. Ok, so Rosa. Sí, ni. Uh, you ask me. Mm, let me see. Uh, mm, Excelente. <laughs> you left me, you know, speechless. Me dejó sin palabras. Keep the financial. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. This is my answer to you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Great. I think so. Because number two, research and development uh, department. They research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Research mm -hmm. and identify, I think. Mm, but listen, let me see in marketing and develop design new group. Develop design new or improve existing products. But listen, there is a, a situation here. The marketing <laughs> department, the marketing department, okay, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. El departamento de mercadeo investiga e identifica uh, porque hacen estudio de mercado, ¿sí o no? Mm -hmm, sí, Lo que el cliente yes. necesita en el momento correcto, de acuerdo a sus necesidades. So what if we change uh, number two? Number four is this one, the first marketing, porque ellos investigan e identifican las necesidades del cliente y en, esa, en ese entender es que... Mm, Permítanme que está ingresando Eric. Uh, es que ellos trabajan, ¿sí? Dan a conocer eso. And then we have a number four, develop. Design new product. Design, desarrollan, diseñan nuevos eh, productos o procesos. Acá sería eh, number two, research Precios and development, and investigación, el departamento de investigación y desarrollo. Entonces, en base, fíjense vez... bien, en base al marketing es que trabaja el Research and Development Department. ¿Por qué? Porque el marketing le entrega los hallazgos al Research and Development, ¿sí? Y ahí es donde ellos desarrollan, diseñan nuevos eh, productos o procesos, ¿ok? De, o mejoran los que ya existen. So we switch the order. 
Entonces el 4 es el 2 y el 2 es el 4. Ya. Yeah. Eric. In my, opinion, in my humble opinion. Okay. Eh, hay que cambiar. Ajá. ¿Cuál? Uh, el 2 ay, es el 4. <risa> que no se escucha gran huracán que estaba ahorita. Yes, uh -huh. I can imagine. For... Y el 4 es el 2. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Ya no, Casi. Okay. <laughs> Now number five. Recruit. Bueno, llegamos una siete. Number five. Recruit. Yeah, that's it. Number six. Yeah, number six, no problem. And number three, purchasing. Yeah. The the tricky ones are number two and number four. Okay. Because purchasing, there's no way to, to get lost. And number one, production, control and supervise the production of workforce and inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the description of there. Okay. So very well done class. And now let me check if the others are ready so we can discuss, okay, and get an agreement. Keep it. I need uh, one volunteer from this team in order to present your work to the class. Okay. So choose that Eric. volunteer. <laughs> And he says, Eric, volunteering, Eric. Aha, cabal, exacto. Finish, teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. We're going yeah, to double check the group. Point. Excellent. Very well. Okay, okay, let's get back. Yes, sir. Give us an extra point. Um, there's another group <laughs> that was a <laughs> first. Okay, extra point. Yeah. If I could, I I surely would do it. <laughs> hey, let's get back. Excellent. Here okay. we go. Okay, excellent. Um, I have two groups that have uh, the same coincidence in the answers. It is Rosa's group and Mario's group. So I need one of these teams in order to share with the, with the class. Okay, is it going to be Mario's group or Rosa's group? You decide. Okay, Mario, thank you. You want to participate. Would you mind sharing your screen, Mario? No, teacher, lo hicimos en la pantalla de Griselda, pero Griselda no va a compartir. La mía. Ah, Julissa. <laughs> okay. Uh, so oh. you see, Griselda, you are always in our minds. Okay, so who's going to explain that? Okay, Mario, go ahead. You are the presenter. <laughs> Um, the work who research and identify what customers want to need at the right place is marketing. The because work they, because they even uh, they work on surveys, right, to identify the needs of the people. And before uh -huh. the pandemic, also the, the marketing department used to give uh, flyers or um, uh, samples of, of the products, yes? Mm -hmm. In order to test what was the, the people's favorite, right? Okay, very well. Next one. Number uh, five, what do they do? Number five is human resource management, management because They require, select, and train new employees, employees. for the right job in the company. Okay. <laughs> and number six, uh, accounting and finance, because 
they keep the finance record of trans transactions involving monetary inflows and outflow. Uh, the next, the productions. They control and supervise the production work phase and inventory. Next, uh, research and development. Uh, they develop, design new, or improvise system products or processes. And the last one, the portions. They buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc., <laughs> for the use of the organization. Okay, thank you. Are you in agreement, class? Do you agree? Partially agree or disagree? Do you agree? Partially agree or disagree? Yes. Yes. Or do you have any any other position? Okay, totally agree. So it is number four, number five, number six, number one, number two, and number three. So it is here. Where do you belong? Yeah. Uh, where do you belong to? Ah, I belong to the production department. Ah, and what do you do? Well, and then you say. Uh, we control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. So in two or three sentences, you describe the uh, activities that people do in your department, okay? So that's why it is very important first to know your duties, your activities, because if you belong to one department, it is obvious that the other people of the staff that you belong to do the same activities. Yes? Okay, very well. So here we go, four, five, six, one, two, and three. Thank you, thank you so much for the participants. Excellent. And now we go to the second part. In the second part, what do we have, class? Here. Okay, explain to a partner what activities you and a co-worker do in your department, okay? Now it is the time for you. If you say, um, Mario probably says, I belong to the communications department, yes? And you describe, okay? We, what do you do in the communications department? We check social mm -hmm. networks and blah, 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 okay? So that is what you are going to do right now. You are going to explain what you and your coworkers do at the department. Yes? Did we get it? Si, ¿Sí, comprendimos? Vamos a describir lo que hacemos en nuestro departamento. Two or three activities that you and your coworkers do. Okay, in the department, you just say we blah, 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 and blah, 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 okay? Ready? Okay, ready or not, here we go. Mm -mm, no. No. Okay. Ready or not, here we go. Let's move to the breakout rooms and describe what you and your colleagues do at work in the department that you belong to. Okay. Go to your groups and describe the activities you and your coworkers workers do. Eric, we need you.
Ah, lo que vamos a hacer es que yo te voy a preguntar tu trabajo y vos me vas a decir que yo es lo que haces ahí. Where do you belong to? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the I belong to? The to the human resources to, uh -huh, or the, the, the purchasing, okay, the accounting, or I don't know, the one that you belong to. And you describe the activities that you and your colleagues do in your department, okay? Okay. So write a short list of the activities. Or I think that by now you know them by heart. Creo que ahora ya se, a estas alturas ya se saben las duties de memoria, ¿verdad? Lo que hacen cada quien. In English. Yes. Hey, congrats. Excellent, amazing. Quiero empezar, ¿no? Ok. Uh, I close Dale with players. Number one. Number two. I attendance meeting. Number three, I write many emails. Okay. Este, yo hice como una hora, bueno, o sea, no se paré por, por oraciones, sino que hice un solo. Mm, ok. Uh, lo voy a leer, no sé si está bien, pero bueno. Entendí que vamos a describir qué es lo que hacemos en nuestra área de trabajo. Sí. We inform to customers over the status of the shipments and prepare the documentation in advance. In advance. And what department do you belong to, Rosa? Uh, operation department. Okay, oh, okay. I belong to the operation, the operations department. And we blah blah blah. Okay, very well ah, okay. done, Rosa. Excellent. Okay. Teacher, no vamos a escribir lo de los demás. Solo nos vamos a decir a practicar. No, yeah, you're right. Oh. Because it is going to be useful for the next activity, remember. And besides, you are learning vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Están practicando vocabulario a la vez, ¿ok? Ok. Teacher. It's okay when I say we plan strategies, create content, and call to actions. Yes. Okay. That's perfect.
transferencia. Entonces, dentro de eso, pues, tenés que dar una resolución. Ok. Anticipado. Um, Alexandra. Uh, I work at the human resource department. I make calls and was calls customer service. You work at the human resources department. Human resources department, okay? Resources. 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 That's it. Resources. Resources department. I make calls and work calls customer service. Así creo que es. Ahí está. Eric Vázquez is back. Hola, hola. Eric Enrique eh, Vázquez ya necesita. <laughs> No sé si está pasando así. Sí, que sí, ok, pero. ¿Eh? ¿Qué dices? Me sacó un montón de veces el, de el inter. Tuya. Ok, but you're back, sí, say sí. ok. Estoy valiendo madre. Es sí, mentiroso. Ya, yeah, because yesterday only 41 minutes. Hablo, right? sí, porque hablo, yo lo veo. 41 minutos. Estuvo en el grupo. Ay, Solo 41 ahora. minutos estuvo conectado ayer. Me Eric. está diciendo negro, es racismo. Oh. <risa> Eres Ahora mi casi es German. Él, él es alemán, that's why. <risa> sí, mire, pero... Ok, ok, este... let's continue. Ya. Yeah. Ok, yes, Eric, ya es. No interrumpamos, Eric. Sí. Malito, no, 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 no. no. <risa> uh, his diploma is under risk. Okay, let's continue, guys. Teacher. Yes. Es, eh, en tercera persona vamos a escribir nosotros la respuesta de ella. Yes. Ah, okay. Example, she, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. Remember that by now, if you notice, you are practicing all the structures. Recuerden que a esta altura ya estamos practicando todo lo que vimos desde el primer día, si se fijan, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ajá, el vocabulario y a la tercera persona en presente simple, eh, las professions and occupations, duties and daily routines, ok, at work, uh -huh. y así vamos okay. construyendo nuestro conocimiento. Ok, bye. Bye. No, eh. no, ese caso automáticamente ya está en sistema. Y de ahí solo se va actualizando el estado. ¿En qué estado va quedando? Ok. Uh -huh. Ya estamos. O sea, que vos hace como un filtro de... Y de ahí pasa a otra área. No. No. Ajá. No, yo hago todo. O sea... O sea, que vos, vos decís a este sí, a este no. Eso haces. Pero, eh, Ajá, pero depende Ajá. de la investigación o de, de la capacidad crediticia que tenga la persona. Bueno, hay varios. Hello. Teacher. Hello. 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 I think, yes, because they collect money. Mm. Uh, it is, uh, but, but I don't know what kind of cobros. Porque cobras es cuando, cuando, cuando colectas el dinero, ¿sí? ¿A qué se refiere con cobros? ¿Qué tipo de cobros? 
sí, es que yo iba a poner como este, en contexto iba a poner que realizamos reuniones para proyectar o realizar una proyección de, de cobros. O sea, porque nosotros en el departamento es cobro de banco. Ok. To recover the debts. Para recuperar las deudas. Las la, la deudas, sí. Sí. Lo que le tiene. Uh -huh. Debts. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Debts. Thank you. Ok. Bueno, entonces yo creo que ya terminé las mías, niños. O sea, ya terminó, Mario. Yo sí. Uh, read yours, Julie. Julissa. Hola. Lea las suyas. Quiero escucharla. ¿Usted eh, trabaja en un banco? En un en un call center, pero es una cuenta de cobros de banco. Ah, she is the one that calls people 24-7. Ella oh, es la que yes. llama 24-7. <laughs> But oh, that yes, is teacher. penalized by the law. <laughs> ok. Eh, bueno, no, bueno, me corrige, teacher, si estoy mal. A ver cuántas veces nos ha llamado de <laughs> Ya lo, voy, ya lo voy a buscar. Yo puse we okay. make, we make uh -huh. discount letters to customer. Uh -huh. We verif verify customer port of portfolio. Uh -huh. Y we hold meetings for debt recover. Or uh, maybe for the billing. Uh, billing. Esa es facturación, ¿verdad? Sí, pero ajá, pero es de lo de lo que se adeuda, pues. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Porque es como el cobro, ahí lleva usted, the billing. B I L L I N G. Billing. Porque es en base a, a, a la factura, ¿verdad? Lo que no se paga. Sí. ¿Qué hacen? Ajá, entonces verifican eso. Entonces el billing. Yo creí que trabajaba en un banco directamente. Porque no, ahí no, es diferente, no. por ejemplo, lo que hace Mauricio, ¿verdad? A, about credits and the things. Ajá, no. Este, oh, okay. Bueno, que Ajá, no, ya, yeah, we understand you. We understand. <laughs> ok. And now let's listen to Ruth. Okay. Uh, we can work accounts and meetings. Okay, but your department? Uh, administrative are. Administrative? Administ administration. Okay, administrative department, okay, or the administration area. What do you do? Um, we plan work schedule and meetings. Schedules and meetings. Schedules and meetings. We plan the uh, schedules and meetings. Yeah, yes. the staffs uh, schedules and meetings. Yes. Okay. We organize. 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 We organize family visits. Family visits. Visits. Sí. Visitas, Visitas familiares. familiares. Sí. And where do you work, Miss? <laughs> Yo trabajo en 
trabajo en una fundación. Ah, NGO, non-governmental non organization. Yes. Entonces okay. tenemos citas becarias acá y estamos a las familias. Oh, como reporte de ellas. Okay, reports. Oh, that's interesting. Very well. Okay. So excellent, amazing. And Mario, we know what he does. Yeah, <laughs> because he always participates. That's excellent. And Kelly. Miss, me cuesta hablar. Oh, yeah, because you're sick. So sorry, Miss. Okay, sí. please forgive me because you're sick. Okay, I can't, I can't imagine and I don't want to be in your place because, you know, because of my work, I cannot get infected with that. Yeah, because it is okay. my throat. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Now okay, I think that we you. can get back, okay, to the main session room. Yeah, because you already did it. Yeah, okay, very well. Okay. Okay, Rose, describe your department and the activities that you and your colleagues do. <laughs> okay, okay, I love your smile. We love your smile. <laughs> Look at Rose's expression. <laughs> and I belong to the operation department. Okay. We, we inform to the customers over status of the shipment and prepare the documentation in advance. Excellent, very well done. Now let's listen to one volunteer. No volunteers. Well, I already listened to Ruth, uh, Rosa, and I also listened to, let's see, well, a group, uh, in the group of Mario, I listen to you. Okay, and Kelly and Julissa. So now the information that you have is going to be used in the next activity. And here we go. Okay, it goes like this. Now here, information questions. What do I do? Oh, I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a, a, a week, not a week, no, a week, two times a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. So here you have that in this sentence, we are reinforcing what you answered in here. Yes, about the marketing department. Because how do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's need. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. So we use the WH questions in order to construct information questions. If I say, for example, where do you live? Where do you work? Okay. What do you do? It is a, the question, what do you do? Is about your profession or occupation. If you ask me, Miss Irma, what do you do? I teach English classes. Yes. And if I ask you, what do you do? Then you describe your activities because in this one, what do I do? I supervise the production workforce. Now here class, we have create questions based on the answers, information questions. You have the answers and based on these answers, we're going to construct questions. Let's do the first one as an example, but we have to use WH question words. For example, what, 
where, when, how, or what, what time. If we say, uh, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Okay, so what do you think could be probably the question? Potential, <laughs> potential who is with the microphone open, oh my God, okay. Possibility, what should I have asked you? ¿Qué debía haberles preguntado para que me contesten? I have to write a report about the production every Friday. What do you do? Um, it could be, yes, it could be what do you do? Okay, what do you do? It could be, what do you do? And we don't write the question mark because we already have the question mark, yes? Okay, this is what you are going to be doing right now in the breakout rooms. You analyze the uh, answer and you build the question as a team. And here we have create questions with the WH words provided below. Then ask the questions to a partner. Acá van a construir preguntas con what, que significa qué, when, cuándo, where, dónde, why, por qué, and who. Okay, for example, who is your boss? ¿Quién es tu jefe? Who is your boss? Why do you work in that company? ¿Por qué trabaja en esa compañía? Where do you work? Okay, when, um, for example, when is your day off? Cuando es tu día libre? Or, um, what do you like about your work? ¿Qué te gusta sobre tu trabajo? Okay. Ready? But basically, I need you to construct these ones, okay? Before we go to the break and you are thinking about the questions, I'm going to take the second attendance. Because time flies and then here we go. Okay, Abel, where are you? Your camera's on, please, if you are so nice. Abel. Okay, present. Thank you. Alexandra Michel. Present. Thank you, Miss. Eric Enrique Llanes. Vasquez Llanes. Eric Llanes. Hello, Eric. Present. Okay, thank Present. you. Present. Eric Fernando. Present. Merlos. Eric Ismael is absent because of the rain. Griselda. Present. Always, forever and ever. You say, no, no, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> Always. Uh, let's see. Jocelyn is absent. Uh, Jose Mauricio. Present. Thank you. Julie. Yurisa. Carla Daniela is absent today. Okay. Uh, Carla Elizabeth, she said that she had some problems. Mm. Catherine Marisol is absent. Kelly, okay, thank you, Kelly. You are very sick. Okay. Noe. Noah, where are you? Present. Great. Rose. Present. That smile, Rose, when I ask you to participate. <laughs> with your information in Rus. Okay, thank you. Now let's move to the breakout rooms and let's build the questions. Yes, Eric Fernando, that smile. Yeah, he's a mean boy. Here we go. Let's try to build the questions, okay? Let me see. Mm -mm, no. Okay, here we go. You are going to finish very soon, believe me. 
go to your groups and construct the questions for the answers. Go to your groups. Teacher. Yes, sir. You say me at the attendant. No yes. Si no, 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 sí. Sí. Ah, Yo no sí si lo mencioné, Mario, dije. Es que no dije present, lo siento. <laughs> okay. But anyways, again, Mario. Okay. Present. Mario Eduardo. Okay. <laughs> Three times over here. Excellent. Thank you for being very responsible. Okay, go to your groups and construct the questions for the answers. Lea después. Para que le ponga el apóstrofe. Nadie más. Nadie más. Sí, eso me Yo lo voy a compartir. Va. So you finish faster. Termina más rápido. Yes. yes. <risa> Solo que no sé qué página es. La 30. La 30. La 30. Mm. Que a mí me estresa es que aviente la computadora la chingada. Oh. <laughs> you love the apostrophe, right? Yes, Especially in the, in, the, in, the, in the homeworks. Yes. Agregala. <laughs> 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 Porque ahí dice estrella. Ah, no, la, 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 la T. T de tomato. Espérate que me perdí. Va, va, va. Es mirar Así que como está en la oración. Start. S T A R T. R T. Ahí está. Hoy sí. Ah, uh -huh. oh, bueno, ¿en qué sería? What time do you? Day, no sería. Ah, no, pero está bueno. Plural, se puede. Ahí estamos hablando en plural. Mm. Está bien. Así está bien. Está bien. Okay. Y en la cuatro, What do you do? Esta es la pregunta. Ah, what do you do? O oh, what? Uh, what do you do? Sí, sí, sí. What do you do? We do that. Quiero ver. They have a meeting because. Yes, To what you are giving a we are you are giving a reason a motive so we use why why uh, uh -huh. why, why, why do, do they do why do no, they do. have they, uh, what do they have what ¿Por qué tienen ellos un qué? Ajá, uh -huh. what do they have a meeting? Mm. Bueno, la pregunta, why? W H do they? What time do you? Ah, sí, do you? Ustedes, ¿verdad? No. What time do you? Ahí está hablando de dos personas. Uh, por eso ustedes. Do you ¿Ah, es... they, they do? No. María y yo salimos del trabajo a las 10 de la noche. Ah, entonces sería we. No. Do we? No. No, porque alguien más le está preguntando. Entonces sería uh -huh. what time do you? 
Uh -huh. De ustedes. Yes. Do you, what, I, what time do you start or the start? Start. Start, start working. Start working. Le estoy poniendo el signo porque usted me dijo que había dicho. Pero lo tiene al final. Ya no está la yeah, teacher. Ya, yeah, yeah, but to practice, to practice for the homeworks and the exams in the platform, in the, in the learning platform. It's two question mark. I yes, we designed and others creating the new product. Yeah, yes. Nosotros diseñamos y creamos otro. No, nosotros diseñamos y otros crean. Creo que dice el nuevo producto. El nuevo producto. Entonces, Ajá. ¿cuál es la pregunta? Y crean ah. otro nuevo producto. Mm. Otros nuevos productos. How do you, ¿Cómo haces? ¿Cómo, okay. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Yo digo que es what. What, what do you do? No. No. Pero creo que no lleva el, el, el I, sino que how do how ustedes. Igual que la segunda. When do, when do we? When es cuando. Cuando ah, haces. Que tendría que ser el que, el que, el what. Uh -huh. Porque how es cómo, cómo hacen ellos el plan uh -huh. de marketing. Uh -huh. Nosotros lo creamos y otros. ¿Cómo? How do you? Uh -huh. el how do? How do? How uh -huh. do you do? Uh -huh. how, how do, do you do? How, how do, do they? They? How do you? No, you know. No. How do? How no. Do, how do they? How do they? they uh, listen, you son? have to say, how do you? Porque está preguntándole a varias personas, por eso contestan uh -huh. con we. Recuerden que you, for singular and plural, singular y plural. Yes. How do you? <laughs> okay. How, How do, do you? you? How do you? Decim. ¿Cómo diseñan el plan? No. How do no. you? No. Design. Porque acá no está, explic aquí no está explicando no. cómo hacen el diseño. No. Uh, diseño. Again, what do you do? ¿Qué hacen ustedes? What do you do? We design and others create the new product. Ajá, era el... Mm. el But what? this is in singular and this is in plural. What okay. do you do? Uh -huh. Entonces, what do you do? Uh -huh. okay. No confiaron en mí. <laughs> They didn't trust you. Okay. What do you do? Okay. <laughs> And now the number five, listen, number five is they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. You are asking for a reason, for a motive. When we ask for a reason, for a motive, mm -hmm. we ask why. Bajen un poquito. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? Bajen un poquito la imagen. Oh. Okay. Why? Why? La imagen. La imagen baje la Okay. Here. Why? Oh. This one. Why? Because when you ask with why, you always answer with because. Por qué? Por qué? Okay. So you are giving a reason. So why? Why today? Why? Why today? 
Uh -huh. And you have here the action. Why do they? ¿Cuál es la acción que realizan? Que ellos realizan. Have to talk. No, no. here they, they have a meeting. They have a meeting. Ah, why do they, they have a meeting? Ajá, uh -huh. why do they have a meeting? Usted está pidiendo una razón, un motivo, una explicación de por qué ellos se reúnen. Why do they have a meeting? And then you give the explanation, you give the reason. They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Okay? Mm. And that's it. Okay? Okay. Did you get them? Yes? Did all of you, why do they have a meeting? What do you do? What time do you start working? Where do you work? What do you do at work? Very well, okay. Okay. Congratulations. And now, finally, okay. And now we move to the break, breakout rooms. I mean to the main session room. To compare because we're going to create these questions and later you are going to ask and answer, okay? In the groups. In general, we're going to create, okay? The questions with what, when, where, why, or who. Okay? Let's what, get back. when, where, why, who? What, when, where, why, who? Who, why, where, when, what? Okay, WH question words are used to okay. ask information questions. Okay, let's get okay. back. <coughs> Now Rose is going to read all the questions. <laughs> that smile, Rose. <laughs> no, it's a joke. It's a joke. Rose, what time do you wake up every day? At five or at four? Do you wake up in the morning to go to work? I wake up at 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. Every day, that's why, okay, very, you know, tiring. Okay, class, here we go. Let's share. Okay, here, what do you do in singular? I have to write a report about the production every Friday. And here in number two, I work in the blue building. The question should be, where? Where do you work? Excellent. Where do you work? And question mark. I know because it has a question mark over there. Now in number three, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. The question should be. What time do you start working? What time do, do you, you, do you start, start working? working? Or what time do you start to work? Okay, but because of working, it is uh, okay. What time do you start working? Or in some uh, books, or you're going to listen. When do you start working? When it is also acceptable. Okay, and what about this one? We design and others create the new product. The question should be. What do you do? In plural, very well. What mm -hmm. do you? do and the answer should be we design and others create the product okay uh they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows the question is why do they have a meeting why do they have mm -hmm. a, meeting? a meeting because when we are asking a reason or a motive to do something, we use why. And when we ask with why, we always answer with because, okay, because. over here. Because, por qué, por qué uh, tienen ellos una reunión, por qué se reúnen. They have a meeting because, ellos se reúnen porque, bla, bla, bla. Okay, 
okay? Mm -hmm. So here we have the uh, question words in order to ask information questions. What, when, where, why, who, okay? So we can create more questions about this in order to ask for information about uh, our duties at work. For example, who wants to give me one sentence using one of these question words, okay? Who wants to share? If I ask you what, do you like uh, from your work? ¿Qué te gusta de tu trabajo? What do you like from your work? What do you like? What do you like from your work? Tell me. If you ask me, teacher, what do you like from your work that I am always meeting new people? Que siempre estoy conociendo gente nueva. Okay? The lunch. Uh, you say, <laughs> I like lunch I like time. It. Yeah. Lunch time. Ah, uh, payday. Okay, always people say that payday. Okay, great. So listen, class. Tomorrow we're going to continue with the WH questions. Okay, and here we go. Okay, let's see. What did we practice today? Tell me what did we practice today? We're going to write over here. Today we practice, what did you practice? What do you do? Okay, WH, WH questions, okay. And information questions. And besides that, through, a través de las information questions, what did you practice? to practice duties right. or obligations at with obligations at work. Yes? Okay, you practice the duties at work, okay, in English, or also you describe your duties at work. Yes or no? What you do. Because I was monitoring your groups and I listened that you were practicing that. Yes? Okay. So listen, I have to tell you something. You may begin with homework week three, okay? Because today we started unit number three. Okay, class, thank you so very much for joining today to my class. And I'm going to stay with Noe today. 10 minutes and okay, I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night, sleep well, and okay, enjoy. Okay, yes, per Eric Fernando, tell me. Eh, le quería comentar si podíamos, queríamos comentar algo con Eric Janes, pero al final de la clase, no sé si era posible, que le regale unos cinco minutos menos. ¿Para qué? Para comentarle algo de. de como de permiso algo así eh, lo que sucede es que ok bye bye class. sí lo vamos a poner al grupo pero queremos darle contexto para que, mm. que vaya las dos cosas amarradas ok ok uh -huh. bye bye class bye 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 eh, bye. bye bye have a good night ok bye bye guys Ok, diga. Eh, va, no vamos a quitar mucho tiempo. El uh -huh. detalle está que ayer tuvimos una reunión donde trabajamos con, con el personal, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y incluye a, a Eric Yane. Uh -huh. La cuestión es que estamos trabajando en el, en el bypass y han traído vigas. Ya me di cuenta ahí a través ah, de las noticias de TikTok, sí. Ah, ah correcto. Entonces, uh -huh. mañana se le va a hacer una prueba de, de uh -huh. construcción en la noche. Y y Más aunque llueva, ruido y, por y, el aunque tráfico. Llueva. y aunque llueva. Esperemos que, que, Ajá, que no, que ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y ¿Qué? eso sería mañana que está programado para el 29. Uh -huh. Y el siguiente día es la prueba, la prueba interna que vamos a hacer, pero del asfalto. Y Entonces, también en la noche, por, por motivo de tráfico. Uh -huh. 
Sí, Entonces, sí. por lo general, días? según, según a, hemos visto anteriormente, por lo general hemos terminado como 11, 12, más o menos. Porque, por ejemplo, de las vigas son seis y son enormes, son media cuadra. Entonces, uh -huh. lleva bastante tiempo. Se va a comenzar temprano, pero es tentativo a salir tipo 11 o 12 de la noche. Okay. Entonces, en el caso de Eric, eh, maneja maquinaria, costa maquinaria, combustible, galonaje y todo eso. Entonces, lo vamos a poner en el grupo, pero queríamos también... Eh, you are telling me de, uh -huh, de, de, de uh, Eric's uh, duties at work. Ajá, yeah, entonces... You are uh, vaya, mire. Eh, uh -huh. Yo no estoy autorizada para la sí, no, correcto, eso, correcto. ni nadie. Vaya. Entonces yo les agradezco que ustedes me hayan dicho eso y está quedando constancia de esta situación que es cuestión laboral, pero les sí. voy a pedir de favor que escriban a los admins del, del grupo correcto, de, correcto, de WhatsApp sí. para que uh -huh. ellos estén conscientes de eso, ¿verdad? Y sepan que no es que porque no quieren estar sí. vamos, en vamos clase. Vamos a tratar de, de hacerlo al límite, digamos, por ejemplo, uh -huh. si, si, si dado caso creemos que no. Salimos a tiempo, lo vamos a poner, vamos a uh -huh. poner una hora antes de la clase. Ok, Ajá. perfecto, está bien, eso, gracias. Eso era, no, no. Ay, lo vamos Entonces, a extrañar. Ahí, ahí, eh, y vamos a, vamos a, quedamos con Eric, que vamos a tomarlos un momento de, de ver la, la clase okay. en, en la hora del almuerzo. Como, uh -huh. Está grabado, ¿verdad? Sí, queda grabado. Entonces vamos a, a para realizar actividades. Eso era, nomás. Ok, muy bien, Va. perfecto. Y vamos a ver gracias. Clase en, el, en el grupo. Va. Sí, Muchas pero, gracias. pero, pero lo quiero que lo lo, uh, lo comenten directamente con los administradores del grupo de WhatsApp. Y se los mandamos a ellos directamente. Sí, directamente. Ah, va, correcto. Y si es posible un, un correíto también, ¿verdad? Para que, que tengan como backup. Ok. Ok. Como respaldo, okay. I appreciate your your comments, okay. Uh, well, be careful tomorrow because of the heavy rain. Tengan cuidado mañana con eso por la lluvia, okay. verdad, y los deslizamientos, okay. okay. Have a good bye. night. Good night. Bye. 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 Eric bye. and bye. Eric, we will miss you, Eric and Eric. Bye. Good night. Good night. Okay. Bye. Tengan cuidado. Bye. Sleep bye. well. Yes. Sleep bye. well. Sweet dreams. Have a good night. Okay. Yes, teacher. ¿Qué hacemos aquí en estos 10 minutos? Ok, you tell me if you have clear uh, the WH question words. ¿Tiene claro uh, lo de la WH questions? Eh, para, ¿Qué significan? Para sí. Ok, perfecto. Entonces ahí está todo porque sabe cómo uh -huh. utilizarla correctamente. Lo único que eh, veamos, hay una exclusiva. Who? Uh -huh. Who? Uh -huh. Who? Es quién. Uh, only used uh, for people. Únicamente uh. se utiliza para personas, porque es quién, ¿verdad? No la podemos usar uh -huh. ni, como, ni con animales ni con cosas. Only for people. And as I was telling you, why to ask for a reason. Why to ask? Ajá. Uh, Why to ¿por ask qué? for a reason? ¿Por, ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Verdad? Uh, ¿Por qué? If I say, Why are Eric and Eric Fernando? Fernando. Why are Eric and Eric Fernando going to be absent? Tomorrow, for Tomorrow. example, ¿ok? ¿Por qué van a estar ellos ausentes? Entonces, al igual que en español, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? Frase separada. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando ya damos la, la respuesta, la razón, siempre vamos a contestar con because. ¿Por qué? ¿Verdad? Ya va junto, igual que en español. Because, la, ¿ok? La, la pregunta sería con why. Y se contesta con because. Because. Sí, oh, entonces okay. acá sería Why are Eric and Eric Fernando going to be absent tomorrow? And then you say They, are, they are going to be absent tomorrow because they have to work in the bypass. Mm -hmm. Y acá si se fija, aparece because, uh -huh. porque, dando la razón. Y acá, because they, bla, bla, 
aquí ya me está dando usted la justificación de la ausencia de ellos, ¿sí? Uh -huh. If okay. I say, why, why are you late? ¿Por qué llegas tarde? Because, because I missed the bus. ¿Por qué? Eh, me dejó el bus porque perdí el bus. Uh -huh. Missed the, because bus. Missed the I, bus. I missed the bus. En pasado. Missed. I, miss, I missed the bus. Because the I bus. missed the bus. Porque el bus me dejó porque perdí el bus. Okay. And if we say, who mm -hmm. is your boss? ¿Quién yes. es tu jefe? Yes. And then you say, the answer is, my, my boss. My boss. Is, is, and you say the name of the person, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, where is to ask about a place? Para preguntar where? acerca de un lugar o ubicación. If I say, where do you mm -hmm. work? This is the most common, right? Sí. This is where direct. Do work? Or where do you Live. 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 Mm -hmm. Or where? Where do you study? study. Where do you study? Mm -hmm. Where do you work? To, mm -hmm. Where do you live? Or study. where? Where do you? Mm, where do you go? Para donde vas? Yeah. Con... Uh -huh. Where do you go? Con, así como esas tienen de lo de EWH. Ajá, es información. What time? What time? What time okay. Esa no uh -huh. sería. Como no, sí. Porque es WH, porque comienza con WH. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What time? Tell me the question. What time? What time? Eh, what time, a qué horas te duermes, quizá? What time do you go Sl to bed? Going, ah, go to bed. What time do you go to bed? Or vas a la cama, algo así. Te vas a dormir es el modismo, go to bed. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, what time do you study? Study. Mm -hmm. Vaya, ahora dígame usted dos oraciones más utilizando what time. What time do you have a breakfast? What time do you have breakfast? Mm -hmm. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. What time do you play soccer? Okay. Mm -hmm. Si se fija, mire, en todas estas hemos utilizado information questions con presente mm -hmm. simple. En todas, sí. ¿sí o no? ¿Verdad? Sí. Ok. Entonces ahí va viendo usted que se va construyendo el conocimiento. Todo lo que vamos viendo se va, ok, reciclando, ¿sí? Sí. Ok. okay. And now let's answer. If I ask you, what time do you go to bed? Answer to my question, what time do you go to bed? I go, uh, I go to bed at uh, 11 p.m. Okay, mm -hmm. that is your answer. And I would say, Abel mm -hmm. goes, goes to bed. Goes to bed at 11 mm -hmm. p.m. Yes. Y acá study. estamos, y aquí estamos utilizando, fíjense bien, el presente simple con third person tercera singular, persona. Tercera persona singular. What time do you study? I, I study at 8 p.m. Ok, very well, at 8 p.m. And then I write your sentence and I tell to the class, hey class. Abel um, goes, 
studies. Studies. Studies at 8 p.m. PM. Ok. Yes. Y acá yes. yo estoy diciendo la rutina de alguien. I am mm -hmm. describing someone else's routine. Mm -hmm. And if I say, for example, uh, where do you work, Abel? Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. uh, I work in Premium Center. Premium Center. Like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. And then I say, he works in Premium Center. Center. Mm -hmm. okay. Where eh, do you live? Yes. Siempre que usted nos manda los grupos y hacemos este tipo de preguntas, muchos dicen mm -hmm. que hay que escribir literal, va. I work in. Mm -hmm. Pero, o sea, mm -hmm. yo no les digo nada porque no, no sé si los es confundo que, es o que, qué. Es, es que hay, por ejemplo, Eric. Hay quienes quieren ah. eh, traducir palabra por palabra ah. de español a inglés y yo les digo que no, porque no todo se puede traducir literalmente, ¿verdad? Sí, exacto. Entonces uh -huh. yo siempre trato de si, digamos, alguien más está diciendo qué es lo que hace, pongo Griselda Works. Ajá, uh -huh. ya, yeah, because you are going to describe what? Ok, uh -huh. what they do. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Porque así se entonces, practica. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es correcto. Entonces esa era mi, mi es una duda, duda, ¿verdad? Que sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí. sí, porque para ellos es más fácil eh, escribir lo que, lo que escuchan, pero luego lo tienen que parafrasear, así como lo estoy haciendo yo. To uh -huh. use the third person singular, yes. Uh -huh. okay. ok, where do you okay. live? Abel, where do you live? Uh, I live... Okay. In Lourdes. In Lourdes. Very well. So I say, hey class, Abel, Abel lives in lives. Lourdes. Lourdes. Okay. And that's mm -hmm. it. This is the information question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what we're going to make an emphasis tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And now you have a better idea, I think. Ahora creo que ya tiene un poquito mejor la idea, ¿sí? Yes, sí. Ok, so I'm going to raise this. Le voy a tomar una foto. <gasps> Ay, ya lo <bueno. laughs> <laughs> But teach. tomorrow we're going to, to write similar examples, ¿ok? Pero okay. mañana vamos a escribir ejemplos similares porque vamos a crear acá una lista de preguntas. For example, okay. what do you like from your work? This was, you know, uh, <laughs> okay, I knew good. that they were going to say, uh, they say lunchtime and some people sometimes say coffee break, and, mm -hmm. but everybody payday. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are, okay, if we say, for example, here, what time uh, do you start work or mm -hmm. what time do you have a meeting? When do you have a meeting? Where do you have a meeting? In the multitasking, okay, uh, room or in the office? I don't know. Why mm -hmm. uh, do you have a meeting on Mondays, for example? Porque a veces hay lugares donde los lunes tienen reunión, ¿sí? sí. So why on Monday? Ah, because we plan the agenda, we plan blah, 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 okay? And who, uh, who attend the meetings? Quién asiste a las reuniones, okay? Or who is your boss? Who are your coworkers? Yes. Entonces mm -hmm. sobre esto, la sí parecida a la lista que trabajamos ahora de preguntas es lo que vamos a trabajar mañana. Yes. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, you should have told me before. Okay, great. Thank you so very much for giving me this extra time because the other kids stole <laughs> your minutes, <laughs> but it was necessary for them. Okay, you okay. que los dos querían una reunión así de, de refuerzo. <laughs> okay, thank bye. you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, sleep See you well. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.